In today's video, I will be showing you how to install and set up Razer Cortex Game Booster. This is a program you can install in Windows 10 that will basically make your games run a lot smoother and you will hopefully get an increase in FPS. Basically what it will do is close down any unnecessary services, background programs and just basically do a clean up of your memory freeing up more RAM so your games run a lot better. But before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, it really does help the channel out. We are currently on 44,600 subscribers. If we could reach 45,000 subscribers before the end of July, that would be absolutely amazing. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and click on the link that's in the description below. And you will then end up on a page that looks like this. As you can see straight away, the auto boost here is freeing up RAM. I'm just going to show you the page for a second. You can see here it says it's going to maximize your FPS. And I'm not going to lie, it actually does do a really good job. If your computer's pretty old or you don't have the best hardware in the world, then I definitely do recommend you give this program a go you need to do now is go ahead and scroll to the top and click on download now. You then need to go ahead and download the program and once it's finished downloading we can now go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to make sure you have Razer Cortex selected and you then need to go ahead and press install. If you do want to change the install location you can click on this link here. Once Razer Cortex has finished installing, go ahead and keep Launch Razer Cortex selected and press Get Started. You can now go ahead and sign up for an account or you can go ahead and continue as a guest. I'm actually going to continue as a guest. You now need to press Continue as a guest again. You now need to close down this window. And there we go, this is what Razer Cortex looks like. And as you can see, it has already detected a few of the games on my PC. This is where all your games will be added. You can go ahead and click on this little plus arrow to add a game manually if it hasn't detected the game. You can also click on the refresh button to rescan four games. And we can also sync with game clients. But the main thing we want to look at is the actual boosting of the games. So if you go ahead and click on boost, this is where you can make any changes to Razer Cortex. So as you can see at the moment it has 6 out of 8 options selected. This is basically what it will do if I click on the boost now button. It will basically enable CPU core, make the CPU resources focus on gaming processes efficiently. It will also disable CPU sleep mode. We can also close down explorer.exe if we want. This is a great option if you really do have an old computer. It will basically close down absolutely everything, making it only your game running. And that's also the same here with the game desktop. So if you do have an old computer, I recommend you turn those two options on. But just be warned, it will also close down like any web browsers and stuff like that. If you go across to processes, you can go through here and disable things that you don't use like Cortina. I don't need that running when I'm playing games so I could simply select this option and free up more resources. You can go across to services and disable any of the services in here as well. Just obviously double check that you're happy with the service that you're going to disable. And then we also have non-Windows services. So I'm going to go ahead now and press boost now just so you can get a look at what it looks like when we press boost. There we go, as you can see on the left hand side it's releasing the RAM now. So far we've freed up 500 meg and there we go, we freed up 947 meg of RAM. Which is great stuff, that really would help my games run. Especially if this was an older PC. As you can see, auto boost is enabled, so basically it will automatically boost your games when you launch them. So it will release this RAM. If we now go across to FPS, as you can see, we can show an FPS overlay in our games. 
this is always a good way just to get a good idea on what frames per second you are getting in your games. We can then go across to Booster Prime and as you can see we can now go ahead and select games that we want to optimize. So these are the games that are currently supported. So Warzone's on there, it's also got Fortnite, Apex Legends, there's quite a few good games. If I was to click on Warzone, as you can see it's now predicted that I will gain more FPS by having the settings that it's changed. If I was to click optimize and then launch Warzone, I will now get 101 FPS. If I was to improve this slider, so turn it up, I could go up to 102 FPS by changing these settings. And you can see all the display settings that it's changed below. And you can also see my current settings. So that is basically what Booster Prime is. It makes life a lot easier when it comes to changing settings in game. If we now go across to System Booster, so basically System Booster will clear up any rubbish on your computer. It will also optimize any items, so settings, which will hopefully help speed up your PC and also defrag any of your games. All you need to do is click on Scan, and as you can see, it's now doing the scans on my computer. And so far it reckons it can free up 1.6 gig of rubbish. It can also optimize 43 items and it can defrag one game. Then all you need to do is go ahead and press optimize and it will run its optimize. So now we've ran this system booster. If you're now wanting to launch a game, all you need to do is go back to game booster, go onto your library, select the game that you want to launch and just press play and it will then do all the boosting settings that you have set. And that is it for Razer Cortex. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.